Okay, so we're trying to find the distance of the walkway right here, and um, we can use the Pythagorean theorem because we have these right angles, and this is the hypotenuse. So use your legs here in the triangle. We have 8 and 15. Square them both, add them, and then take the square root of that. And that just means right, you're doing 8 squared plus 15 squared, and then taking the square root of that to find the hypotenuse. This idea is just from the Pythagorean theorem where a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but then to find c, right, the, the, you don't just add a squared and b squared, that's what c squared equals. Um, here, c squared would be uh, a hypotenuse square, but we want to know what the hypotenuse it is itself, so take the square root of that, and that's what we're doing here. Now the graphing calculator, this can be quickly entered, of course, parentheses, we do 8 squared, right, plus sorry, 15, and then you can press the square button if you want. Oops, this is all going to one big exponent. Sorry, 8 squared, press the right arrow, press plus 15 squared, close parentheses to the half power, so we're taking the square root, that's the same thing as the half power, and we get our answer 17. So C is equal to 17, and this is a Pythagorean triplet, the 8-15-17 triangle. So here the answer is 1. And the triplet is just right, an example of a right triangle where the two legs and the hypotenuse um, are, are, are all rational numbers. There's no irrational or um, roots of non-perfect squares here. So uh, it's, I love the triples. They're really useful. Make sure you know your 3, 4, 5 triple or any multiple of that, like 6, 8, 10. And other ones like 5, 12, 13 are really common uh, Pythagorean triplets. All right, hope this helped.